Hi. <laughs> Bubble wrap. <laughs> I will never collect G.I. Joe classified again, he says. I will absolutely never touch another G.I. Joe classified figure on the pegs ever again, he says. I think G.I. Joe classified is pure trash, he says. I don't think that I've said every single one of those things. I might have said one of those things. Maybe actually two. It just, I'm not, it, a lot of it's hyperbole. It just, it just doesn't matter. I clearly went back on my word. Oh yeah, it's also a Toy Biz Marvel Grail. Hee 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 hee. Yo, what's going on people? Century Mad Collector here. Your Prince of Plastic has returned once again with another video. This time it is a haul video, and as you can see, we have a ton of stuff to get into, including a little grail ski right here. So why don't we just go ahead and jump right into this. All right, guys, first up here in the massive BBTS haul, we have Wave 2, I believe it's Wave 2. It's been sitting in my pile of loot for so long. It's gotta be Wave 2 of Turtles in Time. Here's Shredder, looking excellent. And I have mentioned here on this channel before, the pixelated design on some of these characters, specifically I think the turtles, I'm not entirely crazy about, but I do like the way it looks here on Shredder. I like the way it outlines his physique, all the way down through his armor on the shin guards, pauldrons look great, helmet looks great, mask look, looks great, very happy with him, the way he looks at least. And then the leather head also looking excellent. And this is exactly what I mean. I, I just, I like the way they use the pixelated design to highlight his vest, his armbands, down his legs. But it's not, you know, it's, it's nothing, they didn't go overboard or go crazy with it or do anything with it at all on his face. And I like that. It's a nice mix there of designs just enough to show you, yeah, it's from the video game. It's got all the right colors too. And then if we move on over to Raphael, I just, there's just, he looks great, obviously. Um, I just, some of the pixel design on him, I just can't put my finger on it, just kind of bothers me. I mean, you could see that big patch on his leg and you obviously have him separating his shell. And I just, uh, like the huge piece on his arm. I don't know. Like, I obviously get what they're trying to do. I just, um, I like how it's a little more subtle, or at least to me it makes more sense. It just looks better aesthetically on, it's more natural to, I think, the way these figures are sculpted, as opposed to this, I guess. I don't know. That's just the way I see it. I, I mean, I see why or where they accented, you know, the pixels on, on the turtles. I just, uh, like the belt's cool. That's fine. There's just something about it. I think it's the big patchy stuff that bothers me, uh, the most, but you have the light green wash for his skin, which I decided to opt out of for the cartoon turtles. I stuck with the original green, dark green. I didn't want to have the same green basically on both even though I do like the light green, even when they move to it in the cartoon. And here's Mikey, kind of same stuff here. Nice little detail on his nunchucks. And moving on over into what I think is a very underrated toy line. The Super 7 Ultimates Conan the Barbarian. Conan looking phenomenal. Look at the head sculpt on this guy. Look at the helmet. Look at the detail on that helmet. This looks, guys, I can honestly tell you, I am pleasantly surprised by this. Here's the screaming portrait. This looks way better in person than it, than it does online. You can see all the texturing on his tunic, into his gauntlets, boots. Check out that broadsword. That is really, really nice. And I also wanted to 
Uh, make note of the sleeve that it came in. Also very textured, almost feeling like leather. Just really well done by Super 7. I am very happy with these mail calls, or this part of the mail call, for sure. It's been a long time coming. All of this stuff has been sitting in my pile of loot. I'm glad it's finally here. And here come the Joes, baby. The first wave of BBTS in this mail call here. We've got red ninjas. We've got one. We've got two, we've got three, we've got four, we've got five. And we have gone ho again. And we have six. And some of you might say, Century, what the hell are you doing here? Uh, I thought you were out of Joe's. And I was, and now I'm not. And if you haven't already, go check out, go click on the thumbnail on my channel, one of my most recent hunt videos. It's got all the blood all over it. Go just click on that. And I explain in great detail why I am back in the classified. But to sum it up quickly here, I'm happy with the direction that Hasbro is taking their distribution. And I'm also happy to see that they are, and this is the main reason, I'm happy to see that the figures are starting to look like, more look like the, and are more reminiscent of the original 80s cartoon, which is what I want. So I always did like Gung Ho. I thought he was well done at the time. Looking good. And I also noticed too, and maybe it's coincidence or what, but like the paint applications are much cleaner <laughs> this time around than like a year ago. I don't know. Like finding his goatee without it being like spotty or sloppy or anything was tough. And even like some of the, some of the ninjas here. I spot checked them before I put them on the table because I'm crazy and uh, it's hard to find real imperfections. So that's awesome for someone like me who really cares about that stuff. Very happy to have these ninjas back into the collection more than I've ever had. $22.99, $4 flat rate shipping on BBTS. You cannot beat it. If you're, if anyone is questioning getting back into G.I. Joe Classified, I would honestly do it now. And as things continue to escalate here with this big Joe haul, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Yes, basic math really isn't a thing on this channel, but it is today. Six Cobra Infantry Troopers. $22.99 BBTS. Go get them while they're hot. Man, oh man, oh man. I mean, this, the regular troopers and the vipers, you know, those were very hard for me to part with a year ago. That was a tough pill to swallow because I did really like these a lot. I just didn't want to only army build. But now that I see Joe's going in the right direction, uh, the repaints, the redecos all look good. I have Duke on the way. I just, I have to get back into it. I love the releases, the new roadblock, heavy artillery. That's the roadblock, you know, that I need. His weapon is questionable, but that's okay. But yeah, guys, $22.99, had to scoop them, starting the army build, all back up again. Really, really pumped to have these back into the collection. And you know what? I also passed up on three of them, like a week prior to me, to the new roadblock release, which was really, like what pushed me over the edge to get back into this stuff. I saw Zartan a few, a few times and I saw like three troopers total across of two different targets. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Passed up on them and now I decided to get back in. But hey, BBTS, getting them pretty much at retail. I'll take it. Now we have the all the restocks coming. So there should be more, which I will be scooping. Um, but even if it didn't go past this, I'm happy with six, that's more than enough, especially with ninjas and some other stuff that I'm about to show you right now. And this is where it starts to get heavy, folks. Huge shout out to my buddy, my good friend, General Kenobi, a guy that I met through this community, through this channel, actually. We talk all the time. Just a fantastic guy. He obviously uh, figured out, we talked about how I am back into G.I. Joe Classified and he sent this incredibly generous gift. 
all of these figures, actually two of these figures at retail, and the guy in the middle for free. Uh, as a congratulatory good job for reaching 2k subs on YouTube. I mean, like, I am just blown away by this. It's obviously incredible to have these figures and not have to pay out of the butt for them, but the actual act of generosity here is amazing. So thank you so much, man. I am blown away by this, like I had mentioned, and uh, there's really not much else to say other than I appreciate you, and most importantly, importantly, I appreciate our friendship. So thank you very much. We've got Supreme CC, a figure I've never had before, a Cobra Viper. I hope to get few more of these guys if not I'm just thankful to have one and a figure that I've never seen in person until today haven't seen him on the pegs nowhere who looks phenomenal Firefly so guys again General Kenobi check him out on Instagram he has an Instagram he'll be hitting YouTube very soon hitting the ground running with that go give him a follow he finds some great stuff, and more importantly, he's a great guy, great member of the community. Tell him Sentry sent ya. All right, guys, and here it is. Last, but certainly not least, a huge grail of mine acquired, the Toy Biz Marvel Sentinel. This is a piece that I have been hunting for so long to find in good condition, sealed, and for a good price. We finally found that on eBay of uh, all places recently. Um, anyone that knows me and that has been following along on this channel knows that I absolutely love Toy Biz Marvel. It's one of my favorite toy lines. I love Toy Biz. I have Toy Biz Hercules uh, from Hercules The Legendary Journeys. I have a bunch of Toy Biz toys. Marvel is my favorite. And uh, I could not be happier to add this guy into the collection. We are not taking him out of box today, but I, however, will show you guys the entire box from back to front. Also worth displaying, I would say. And here you can see on the front, they show you some of the gimmicks and play action that come with Sentinel. Here's the side of the box. So cool. 14 inches tall and you know if anyone thought that I was keeping my, I don't know why you would think this if you've been watching along on this channel, keeping any of my Toy Biz Marvel on card. And to be honest with you it would be nice to have it displayed on card because the card backs are classic. They're all coming off card for sure because how can you have this guy first of all you need to take this guy out of the box so if he's out of the box how do you not have the rest of them out of the box you can't and so i cannot wait to set up this is going to be an awesome display here he is if you guys are unfamiliar with him at least you can see him on the back here with all of his play action abilities very cool Take a look at some of the line here, X-Men line. Super duper stoked. Suddenly from California. Super duper stoked, dude, to add this into the collection. This, this is a piece, like I've said, a vintage, I guess now a vintage piece that um, I have been hunting for a while, and now we finally have it. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I hope you all enjoyed it. There was just way too many army builders to put them all on this table as a parting image to say goodbye to you guys. So I picked one of each to represent everything uh, from an army building perspective that we picked up today. It's tough with this 34 by 34 table, but hey, what can you do? I really enjoyed sharing all of this with you guys. And as always, thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you for taking the time to check out this channel. If you guys would like to see more toy hauls, please let me know down in the comments below. I'm super pumped to share all the stuff that I have coming in with you guys all of the time, whether it's 
uh, in its own haul video like this one or at the end of a hunt video. So either way, you're going to see it. But if you do like uh, the separate haul videos, let me know in the comments and uh, I will continue to make them. As always, thank you guys again, and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.